What's up guys? In this video I will show you the Top 10 Best New Mobile Games of September for Android and iOS in 2024 These games have amazing graphics immersive gameplay and realistic physics That will make you feel like you are in the game World whether you like racing shooting adventure or action There is a game for you in this list so without further ado let's get started Touch Grind X Let's Go Touch Grind X is a very fun bike racing game. The controls are simple to learn which makes the game easy to pick up and play. You can perform a variety of tricks from grinds and flips to more complex combos. The graphics are good and the game runs smoothly on most devices. My favorite aspect of Touch Grind X is the variety of locations. You can cycle through from city streets to half pipes and bowls. Racing Master Adventure. It's pretty awesome the graphics are top notch. They look so realistic it's like you're actually there. The attention to detail is incredible from the reflections on the cars to the intricate textures of the environment. The new open world map is a game changer. It adds a whole new level of freedom and exploration. You can just drive around and discover new things or you can focus on completing challenges and races. The only downside is that it's not available globally yet. You have to use a VPN to play it which is a bit of a pain hopefully they'll release it worldwide soon. So everyone can My refusal to do so has led to my confinement here at Scare Hotel. I cannot explain further, but ask- Made of Skur is a first-person survival horror, set in a remote hotel with a gory and macabre history from British folklore. Armed with only a defensive sound device, you'll utilize stealth tactics to avoid death amongst a cult of sound-based. Set in 1898 and inspired by the haunting Welsh tale of Elizabeth Williams, this is a story of a family empire driven by torture, slavery, piracy and a supernatural mystery that suffocates the grounds of the hotel. Free City, an incredible open-world adventure game with ultimate freedom release your daily stress and enjoy richly detailed real-world scenes where you can freely do crazy things. In addition to multiplayer PvP and challenging modes, we offer thrilling missions involving stealth, assassination, undercover operations, and wild driving to tear the city apart. Get your own way in Free City. Take over the city and explore the open world. The story background is set against a western. The Elder Scrolls Castles. I've been a fan of the Elder Scrolls series for years. So I was excited to try out their mobile spin-off castles. The core gameplay loop of building and managing your castle is enjoyable. I love collecting resources and upgrading my buildings. However, I found the progression system to be a bit grindy it often felt like. I was spending more time waiting for resources and timers to expire than Operation Apocalypse. I had the opportunity to try out Operation Apocalypse for a short time. And I'm impressed with what I saw. The game offers a familiar yet refreshing take on the tactical shooter. Genre reminiscent of popular titles like Hyper, Front and Valorant Mobile. The gunplay feels satisfying and responsive with a good balance of recoil and accuracy. Unfortunately the game's current availability is limited to China. However given its quality and the growing popularity, Ocean Keeper is a mobile game where you play as a keeper of a coral reef. The game is quite simple to learn you tap to collect coins, upgrade your reef and defend it from pollution. While the graphics are basic, the game is visually good however though, the game can become repetitive after a while and the progression can be slow additionally. The in-app purchases can be quite expensive. Overall Ocean Keeper is a fun and enjoyable game but it's not for everyone.
Populous Run. I recently gave Populous Run a try and found it to be a fairly enjoyable mobile game, especially for those who enjoy endless runners. The core gameplay is simple yet addictive. You control a small spherical creature as it races through a procedurally generated forest, dodging obstacles and collecting coins. It's a good choice for those looking for a casual game to play on their phones. However, the lack of variety and occasional performance issues can be drawbacks.